You know, it's not fair. I mean, every other president had all of the Russians to blame for everything. What have I got? You know, Mr. President, it is really too bad that the Russians are no longer in the game. Hell, they weren't much fun anyway. You never got to kill a single one of them. Yes, General, but without them, you and your friends would have had to get real jobs. That isn't funny, Stu. You know, Stu's got a point. What point, sir? Well, of course, you've got a point, too. My point, sir, is that Russia is in such shambles. They couldn't sissy slap us if they tried. Well, they still have all those missiles lying around. 20,473, to be exact. Are you kidding? One of the breakaway republics, Kazakhstan, is the third ranking nuclear power in the world. Oh Are you kidding? Most Americans don't even know where Kazakhstan is. My travel agent can't find it. Well, you can imagine why. What do you want to do, sir? About Russia, sir? Yeah, why don't we call up and find out who's in charge over there this week? Vladimir Krushkin. Vlad, that's great. I like him. That's good. Why don't we ask him to see if he can come over here? You know, we can we can have, like, one of those summit things. Maybe we could work something out, like what we had with them before, you know? That's an excellent idea. Good. Great. Good. Super good. idea, good. sir. We've got that's a contingency good. plan. Good. We'll bring it right in. Good. Good. Mr. President, we were wondering if, uh, if you and I, uh, you know, if, if we couldn't sort of get together and, you know, mano y mano and, uh, and sort of work something out. Sort of mix it up the way we used to, you know? In the good old days. And I don't, I don't mean a real war. I mean, just, just a little tension. Sort of help people forget about, about things, yeah. you know? I mean, just... <laughs> oh, Mr. President, please. Is this why you called us here? We already gave up. You won. Oh. We are too busy trying to perfect universal indoor plumbing. That's right. Indoor plumbing. Mm. Maybe mm. even a little <laughs> central heating. A big Buick in every garage would be nice. A few cellular phones, a compact disc, MTV. What is the name of that other VH1. Channel? Yes, VH1. I'm so sorry, Mr. President. We can't go back to the old days. Please try and understand. Good day. Uh, uh, it's a trick, Mr. President. Yeah, right. Why, why can't we talk this over? What is there to talk over? You're in charge of the world now. Don't be a sore winner. Look, I'm sure we could discuss this like civilized men. Right? Civilized men? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we've both been for the last 50 years? <laughs> Just a holy goddamn minute, you're... Comrade Chip! Wait, wait! You don't go throwing your way around for half a century, threatening the whole goddamn peaceful, freedom-loving Western world, and then... Yeah, you just decide one day you don't want to tug the rope no more. Jim, do you? Please. Huh? Mr. President, I'm so sorry for this. Sorry for this? You made us spend trillions on submarines and missiles, and what did all this rubbish get us? Red lines and mayday parades. Look, 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 look sir. Look, 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 come on, chicken on us now. You talk. Talk. I got another right. We got more chicken. Hey, we need you. Mr. President, hey. I need you. Vlad, Vlad. You don't always get a second chance. Hey! Oh, 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 o